Hi right, guys, so as you can see, we've got a PlayStation. Nah, it's not a PlayStation. It's a PlayStation Classic. Um, so if you don't know what this is, uh, it's a console that's made to replicate the original PlayStation and it comes with built-in PlayStation games. Um, I don't know whether that's meant to be for space saving or whether that's just how they wanted to design it, but there was this was following the NES Classic that came out and the Super Nintendo that came out as well. And they were basically smaller replicas of the original games the game consoles, and they had built-in games with them. Now, the built-in games on this console are very, very poor. Um, they're not even what I would consider to be third, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth choices, which is really, really sad. Now, there's loads of reviews on YouTube about these, uh, but I thought as I finally picked one up that I would look into it. Now, I didn't feel like it was worth diving into a review of the PlayStation and the games that come with it, but what I am reviewing today is actually... My cat. No. What I am actually reviewing today is the game stick that originally was called True Blue. And I think this is even a knockoff of this. And this is that the game box. So basically what this is, is what's already in the machine. It's a memory stick that has shitloads of games on it. Now it's not your normal emulation. Uh, it's actually got Game Boy Advance games, NES games, it's got a plethora of different console games, so it's not just your standard Pandora's box, it's got tons on there. Now, this actually failed to work after about a week. I contacted the seller, I told him what the problem was, and then he sent me another one, which has turned up today. So I thought, A, I'll do the video on it, but B, I'd like to draw attention to the fact that if you're buying one of these, there is potential for it to go wrong. Now, this could have actually been my fault. Um, I will preface that first, as I did mess about with the settings on there uh, quite a bit, and I, I probably fucked up the thing itself. So I'm going to try and not mess about with the settings, and we're going to see how long the second one lasts. Uh, but this was between 20 and 25 pound on eBay, and the amount of games it comes with is amazing, uh, as long as it keeps working. So I'm hoping that the replacement works. But I'm going to fire up the thing. Uh, I'll show you, I'll put in a little bit of footage of what games you currently get from the PlayStation as it is now. And then we'll jump into booting it up with the stick. You literally plug the stick in, to the port because the USB ports are USB ports. You can still do two player, you just need an adapter. Just need a USB adapter like this one. Plug it in, plug the stick in there, and also plug your second controller in. Um, obviously you could do four players as well, but I think there's only like two games that enable four player. And then there might be more, so there's tons of games on there, but there's only two that I know for the PlayStation itself. Uh, but yeah, let's jump right in guys. Okay guys, so what I'm doing at the moment is I've put the memory stick in, I've booted it up. Uh, you will get this screen. And then I've hit rescan. So that's the first step. And for some reason it's playing Journey. Which is really odd. As you can see, it's loading, so now it's ready. So you've got two settings on here. And you've got Auto Bleem, which is the start button, or Retro Arc, okay? So we're going to Auto Bleem first. You'll see this gives you the plethora of PlayStation games. I'm not gonna obviously give you all the titles, but this is a run through. So these are all the PlayStation titles that have been imported through the game box memory stick. Now the good thing is you do get a extender every time you buy one so now i've got two of these because the second one was a replacement uh but yeah you get all the classics on here and it's uh it's basically tenfold the amount of games that you've got which is really cool these look to be the same as the last one the stick looks identical um, a lot of these i haven't played ever so it's cool as long as the stick works and you've got crash crash bash crash team racing now you can save these at any time and you can resume from wherever you left off in the game. So like almost like a double save point, uh, which is cool. Uh, I don't think it will recognize. No. So I've got the sound down just because it's playing Journey and I don't want to get copyright marked on that. I, I doubt you can even hear it to be totally honest with you. Uh, so yeah, you've got all of these classic games. Now, I might play a couple, um, 
I don't want to make the video too long. It's just to give you an overview, as this is a great space saver, but it's also a great emulator for a lot of games that aren't actually PlayStation related. So obviously these are all the PlayStation games. Tons and tons of games. It tells you whether they're one player, two player, which is really cool. And yeah, you can just literally scroll through all of these. I have no idea what Sexy Parodius is. Um, it looks like a Japanese game. I'm not sure the translation's accurate. But yeah, I mean, it's got all the all the classics, all the Street Fighters. Street Fighters are pretty much on every MLA, which is great. Um, we really like Super Puzzle Fighter 2 at the moment. Uh, that, this will be something that me and Gem will actually play. Um, we're planning on doing a, a couple of videos where we play games together again, as they seem to get a lot of traction before. People seem to enjoy watching them, so we want to do more of that because we do play games together. Um, it's very hard to find a game that we both like, which is funny. But when we do, we tend to obsess over it. I think the weirdest one we had was Cars 2, I think, on the PlayStation 2. Uh, that was really funny. But yeah, so there you go. So that's all the PlayStation games. So I won't play any of them for now. I need to show you Retro Arc, which is Square. You see that at the bottom. Now this loads like almost like a computer menu. Um, and so yeah, it looks a little bit weird. As you can see on the left, it's got all the different game consoles and not all the games. I, I can't claim that it's got all the games because I, I know for a fact it doesn't. But you've got the two six hundred, the seven eight hundred, the Lynx. You've got arcade games. You've got Mame arcade games, PC Engine games, PC Engine CD, PC Engine Super Graphics, Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color games, Game Boy games. Nintendo Entertainment System games, the SNES games, Virtual Boy, 32X, Dreamcast, Game Gear, Master System Mark III, Mega Drive, Mega CD, SG100, sorry, SG1000, NGO Pocket Color, NGO Pocket, PlayStation Portable, PlayStation, and obviously the PlayStation games are all the ones we've just looked at. Um, so what actually happened with the last stick that I had is um, I messed about with some of the settings, and then all of a sudden, some of the games started disappearing, which was really weird. And I couldn't work out why, and I kept rebooting it. I took it out, put it back in, and then it seemed to completely fail to boot. So I, I'm i pretty sure that was I did something wrong. I don't want to blame the manufacturer. Um, obviously, these are bootleg things, so you've got to be sort of careful with them. But yeah, so let's jump into something what can we play but the super nes uh, as you can see it's got tons of games i haven't tried all of them i know some of the main games don't work i'm not sure why uh, i don't know if the processor on the playstation is because it's a playstation mini i don't know if it's cut out for that but um everyone plays more combat 3 i don't really want to don't really want to rehash games that everyone already plays and shows on. Uh, actually, Game Boy. I played a few Game Boy games and I was actually really impressed. It's kind of cool having these, remembering the nostalgia of playing these on a handheld uh, on a small screen to then playing them on a console on a big screen was kind of cool. You got Tony Hawk, oh, Tony Hawks, that's pretty cool. So you've got tons of stuff, and obviously if you know it's going to be a Game Boy game, it should work. There shouldn't really be any issues. Uh, Tarzan's quite fun, actually. I remember playing that. But yeah, I mean, you've got all these options. Star Wars games, SpongeBob SquarePants. There's absolutely tons and tons of games uh, to keep you entertained. As long as the stick doesn't break, I'm not going to fuck around with any of the settings this time. I'm literally just going to play it when I want to play it. Uh, Rayman, and these are just the Game Boy Color games, guys. So, you know, there's tons and tons on here. Prince has seen boxing. I remember that on the PlayStation 1, that was a hard boxing game. Uh, oh, shit, you got all the Pokemon games. So, there you go. So, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Gold, uh, Pokemon Silver. I'm assuming then that the other Pokemon games were on just normal Game Boy, then, right? I thought they would have all been Game Boy Color because I remember playing them on a Game Boy Color. But and I mean, there's tons of games for you to sort of discover, which is what I'm excited about. 
I just want the memory stick not to break. Uh, so I'm hoping it was me that broke it, not the other way around. I've got a, uh, oh, there you go. Yellow, red, blue. Oh, okay, cool. So they are specific to their makes. Uh, I was always a fan of Charizard. Let's boot that up just to give you an idea. So yeah, I messed about with way too many, way too many settings. Uh, these are different versions of the game that are on here. And you pick one and then you run it. Um, and yeah, you get this cool screen that almost looks like you're playing on the Nintendo. Let's put some sound on. And the good thing is it's HDMI as well. So as you can see guys, you're literally playing the Game Boy game. Oh, I'm pretty sure X is back actually. Ah, yeah, B and A. Sorry, circles. Go. There you go. Because of all the Pokemon. So obviously the sound will probably get quite annoying as it did on the Game Boy anyway. Um, so let's turn it on now. Let's just show you that it's working properly. But yeah, so you've got that in the background. Uh, obviously, you've got the Brackets on the outside, which is quite colourful. It's quite fun to play. Uh, new name. Standard. It's just to show you that it works. Uh, what name should we call him? Let's be real childish about it. Oh. That do. <laughs> Didn't have enough letters for dickhead. So as you can see, this plays properly. This is cool. And you've got tons of different con consoles to pick from. Um, this isn't a game that I'm actually going to uh, well, I, I probably will play this actually because I do like the old Pokemon games. Um, so yeah, it's just something to play. Um, I'm not sure, actually, something I can try is I'm not sure how the save state works. I can't actually. I don't even actually remember how you save a game on this. SNES. That's always crap out. Right. So. So it's select and start together. Uh, chain save state. Save state to currently selected slot. I haven't done that. Does that work? Okay. So you come back and then obviously you're back in the menu. Got that in the background. And uh, yeah, you've got tons of games. You've obviously got only three Dreamcast games. Uh, what else? Yeah, just got tons and tons of options. It's just to show you really that it worked, but uh, we've gone here. Obviously the fighting games are paramount. They are some of the best games. I didn't think half of these games would be on there, to be honest, but. Super Brawl, War, but yeah, you've got tons of cool games, Ultimate Mortal Kombat, um, obviously the Game Boy Advance will have slightly be better graphics, uh, everything from Super Mario, I can't wait to play all the Super Marios, one of my confessions is that I haven't actually played a Super Mario all the way through, um, I've played a couple of levels here and there, but never really got into it, so I want to do that, Mike Tyson Boxing, Mega Man. And also the Final Fantasies as well. Uh, I definitely want to get into the Final Fantasies. I haven't really played them. Uh, so I want to do that as well, which would be really cool. 
So I've got the ability to play all these games as long as the memory stick holds up. That's the only caveat. So I will do an update video in about a week's time to let you know how we're getting on with that. Uh, but yeah, that's quit retro arc. Closes the game, loads the menu. Fantastiche. And let's show you a PlayStation game just for the hell of it. So uh, classic on here. So one that wasn't on here already uh, was, well, all of these weren't on here. I think there was only like, I think it's 20 games you get stuck with. Uh, you've got Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing. Uh, yeah, fuck it. So we've been playing the newest Crash Team Racing on PlayStation 4 for quite a bit. And um, yeah, that's, that's taken up a lot of our gaming time, actually, uh, which is funny because I've also been playing Crash Nitro Kart on the new racing cab that I've been building, and that video is coming still, guys, so you've got to bear in, bear in mind the amount of work that that takes, but I'm trying to release more content, uh, trying to keep it all flowing out, but as you can see, Naughty Dog, this plays just like the PlayStation game, which is great, really, and the, the main reason I wanted to do this is a space saver, um, and... If the memory stick works, then I won't need to look into getting the NES or the NES, which was something that I wanted. Oh, I started a new adventure, which I shouldn't have done, but there we go. Um, so yeah, this seems to play the same so far. I don't see any differences with this. Got all the original characters. Okay, let's be Crash. Uh, standard zone. Cool. So I'll do. I'll do one race. Why not? I'll show you that it works. And uh, yeah, so this is the, the game box, um, or it's a poor imitation of True Blue, really. Um, but I think it does have some benefits that True Blue doesn't have in terms of all the other games for all the other consoles. Uh, the True Blue just seems to have all the PlayStation games or majority of the PlayStation games. So as you could see, there's no real lag or anything with the controller. The controller is a normal PlayStation controller. Uh, but it's US, usb fied so you've got that in there. And um, yeah, this plays just how the original used to play. This was the game of my childhood. I mean, my mum used to play this all the time. Um, she would force me to play it, even though I'd win all the time, which is really funny. But yeah, that doesn't seem to be... This doesn't seem to play any differently to how I remember. I mean, the new one is actually slightly quicker in terms of driving but uh yeah this plays this plays just as bad as well as i'd expect i don't notice any difference between this and the the original crash team racing so it's definitely the right game plays well yeah i'm quite impressed with it as long as it works this is the only caveat because obviously i've already I've already had it. <laughs> I didn't play that many games. I think I had it for about a week and then it broke. I was just stopped working altogether. Um, but again, I do think that was something that potentially I did. So I thought getting it the second time as I'm getting the free replacement, which is great of the guy to do that. I would do a review. I'd let you know how it goes. And what we can do from there is if it doesn't work, then I can warn people and I can tell them not to buy this, not to buy this product. Because uh, it will be 20 to £25 pound of your money. And yeah, there's there's other ones out there. I mean, you can do this yourself if you've got the technical know-how. And you look into it, you can work out how to do it. Um, I'm not that technically sounded, sound of mind. Um, so yeah, my technical skills are a little bit limited. And I didn't want to risk doing it. I'd rather pay the £25 pound for someone else to do it. And if it goes wrong, uh, then I can obviously, as in this case, as it has gone wrong, I can get a replacement. So... That was cool to do that. The guy was really cool in doing it as well. 
and um, yeah, as you can see, this plays properly. There's no issues. And uh, yeah, there you go. Obviously, finishing number one because we're the best. <laughs> so yeah, I'd recommend getting it for now. Um, if you want to hold off and wait for my week review, I'll, I'll literally do it in a week's time. I'm late night still working. I'm probably going to play this a lot actually. In the meantime, with Final Fantasy and Pokemon being on there, uh, that's probably something that I'm going to play for a nostalgic value. It's got all the Mario's on there, so I plan on playing them. Uh, all the old Resident Evils as well. I want to get them down. Silent Hill, I believe, is on here as well. Um, yeah, I've got Crash Bash, which I forced Jen to play. Crash Team Racing, the original. I'll show her this one because she hasn't played this. She's only played the new one. So yeah, we've got a lot to uh, a lot to get through. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any and all comments. Um, you know, I'll try and be as interactive as possible. Um, obviously, leave your hate at home because I'm not interested. But yeah, keep up the uh, the views. Subscribe, tell your friends, like, share, comment, subscribe. More content coming soon, I promise. I've uh, been very busy at the moment building the new cabinet and uh, yeah, just being at work as well. So let me know what you think about this. What do you think about the concept of the USB? Obviously, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how uh, legal it is. It's not really mainstream. <laughs> you sort of got to go through eBay to get it. But uh, yeah, let me know and I'll be happy to uh, speak to you. Peace. Thank you.